Hello everybody, welcome back to the Smitty Geek channel. I am your host as always, Tim, aka Smitty Geek, and I'm doing something a little bit different on today's video. Um, actually playing around with a new setup, something I'm going to be doing more of in 2024. Uh, actually using a webcam and a ring light that I picked up for about 20 bucks locally here in town and StreamYard software so we can start doing YouTube reaction videos. Now, of course, I'm not going to be doing this every video. I'm still going to be doing my random music trivia short videos because I know you guys like those. You follow me because of that. And also some other long-form content videos. But I wanted to try this just because I thought it was something different just to keep you guys coming back to the channel. Now, I do want to remind you, don't forget to stay till the end so you can see a couple of things, my reaction to this video and some of some of the thing, important things of this, this, the important theme of this video we're going to be presenting today. And also uh, going to tell you how you can win a $25 Amazon gift card. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Um, this video is actually the number of deaths in World War II per country. It's kind of a heavy video, but I thought it was very informative and I think it's important to share this video with you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, right out of the right out of the gate, I'm noticing that this is a very strong animation video, which I think is pretty cool. It looks like they did a really good job on this. And um, the other part of this, you know, kind of looks like just a stack of dead bodies. It's kind of morbid, but of course, I kind of think this is a darker video. And thirdly, right out of the gate, Switzerland. I thought Switzerland was a neutral country. But it looks like maybe they had enough folks in that country during World War II to th think it was important enough to go and defend this great evil that swept through Europe and later through Asia. And I guess they thought it'd be good to join up. And unfortunately, some folks lost their lives for the cause. Mexico, that's surprising too. A hundred folks for Mexico too. That's messed up. So they lost as much as Ireland. Wow. And Cuba. Okay, Turkey. I know they were kind of involved with some of the stuff in the Middle East with the Germans. Iceland. I guess they were loyal to Norway. Two hundred. Wow. Mongolia. That's another interesting one. Nauru? Is that right? Where is Nauru? I'm not familiar with that country. Is that in the Pacific or is it somewhere around Africa? I'm not really sure. Whoever it is, they had a sub, you know, surprisingly high amount of deaths during World War II. If you guys know, Please let me know in your in the comments. Iraq. Okay. Egypt. I guess with everything going on in North Africa, they suffered a lot. Newfoundland with Canada. Yep. Malta, of course, supporting Great Britain. Take there. It's interesting. Br Wait a second. Brazil? Brazil had 2,000 people die? Wow. Who were, they, who were they supporting? Portugal, maybe? I don't know. That's surprising. I'm surprised that they had that many people pass away in World War II. I don't know who really they, they were helping. I guess it was Portugal. Of course, Guam, you know, there's a U.S. military base now. We've got a pretty strong presence there now because of the war. And of course, Sweden, 2100. Wow. Denmark had 6,000, I guess, because they were so close to Germany. And 
Luxembourg too. Wow. Thailand had 7,000. It's another surprisingly large number. South Seas Mandate, Japanese colony. 10,000 died for Japan. Wow. 10,000 for Norway, so that's probably why the Iceland helped them. New Zealand, 11,000. Man. South Africa, 11,000. My goodness. This is surprising, man. It's eye-opening. Papua New Guinea, how many did they have? 15,000, another large number. And Spain? Was it Spain, a neutral country? Who were they helping? Maybe Germany? I don't know. Either way, this is kind of surprising to see these numbers that e these individual countries put up. It's just telling you it wasn't just Europe. There were some countries in, you know, Africa and South America, like Brazil, that were helping too. Yeah, look at this. Yes, Libya, 20,000 significant part when Germany took over the North Africa. Bulgaria had 21,000 in Eastern Europe. I think they were, had some large oil fields there and the Germans took over it. And Albania. Albania, of course, was a sea coast. Australia had 40,000. I guess they were fighting the Japanese for the British. And maybe it had some folks go to Europe. I don't know. Canada. That's surprising. I figured Canada would have had more. 43,000. Still significant, though. Rwanda. Oh, for Belgium. 50,000. Wow. Okay, Portuguese Timor. That's 70,000. Where is that? Where is Timor? Y'all let me know. Singapore. 80,000. Estonia, up near Russia, 83,000. Belgium, right next to Germany, 80,000, 88,000. Finland. Finland had 96,000, but here's an interesting fact about Finland. Finland had just gone through a, I guess, a war of skirmish with Russia. So I think maybe they were pretty war-hardened. Um, but it looks like they did take a significant hit from the Germans. Netherl oh my goodness. Wow. 250,000 Dutch people passed away that died. And Latvia too. Man. It's amazing how some countries really took a hit. Czechoslovakia, 355,000. Wow. Lithuania, 370. Another... Start Soviet country. Okay, here we go. United States. 419,000. Interesting. I would have thought it would have been more, but, you know, I know it's significant. I'm not downplaying it by any means. We had a lot of great people pass away to defend our country during World War II. I know that, you know, whether it's in Europe or in the Pacific, um, we did a lot to help Europe, and I don't think they ever forgot it. Now that's staggering. United Kingdom, which is much smaller than the United States, had just as many or a little bit more than what we had in the United States. So, you know, that really probably took a hit on several generations because of how many people passed away. Five hundred thousand in Romania, man. Okay, see a building just to kind of give you a scale. Wow, Italy had five hundred fourteen thousand. I guess those were Italian soldiers helping the Axis. That's a lot. Interesting. So Korea, Japanese colony. Is helping 
Japan, I guess. Wow, 600,000 in France? Man. It's almost 700,000 in Malaysia. In these countries. Mm. Greece? Greece had 800,000 people die? So Burma had a million people pass away. You know, it's the Japanese. It's just brutal. It's brutal. In the Philippines, too. You know, the Japanese were very, very sadistic what they did to the Philippine people. Um, what they subject, subjected them to was just incredible. Them and China both. And a lot of it doesn't get documented. Austria. I'm sure a lot of those were soldiers who helped Germany. A million. Yugoslavia, 1.7. Hmm. I guess, I don't know. 2.2 in Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos. India. India had 3 million people die? So I guess they were probably in Asia. I don't know, maybe they helped in the British. I didn't know that about India, that they had three million people die in World War Two. That's how many more people than Britain, the people they were helping. So they definitely did their part. And of course, Japan, 3.1 million people gave their life for that cause. Mm. Indonesia, four million. So more people died in Indonesia than ja in, than in Japan, fighting the evil dictator Hirohito or whatever he was, whoever he was. I think it was Hirohito. Okay, six million people died in Poland. You know, that, it's sobering because you know a lot of those were Jewish people. You know a lot of these people died in the concentration camps. And it's sad to think that all because of the ideology and the insanity of one man. One man and how he politicized his, his purpose, his, you know, whatever you call it. The, the whole thing he talked about in that book. I shouldn't say it. Six million people in Poland passed away because of him. Died at his hands. Uh. So, I know those ramifications are still being felt today. That is a huge loss. Germany, 7.4 million. Watch sleep, sheep to the slaughter because of it, that one person. Led them all to their deaths because of his ideology. Okay. Say so what you will about China, but what the Japanese did to them was brutal. Some of the things, some of the war crimes, some of the torture they put the Chinese people through was just beyond cruel. I'm not going to go into details. It's a well-known fact. You can look it up for yourself. But the Chinese really, really took, took it hard from the Japanese. Don't let anybody tell you that the Chinese had it easy because they didn't. And to this day, a lot of them still had a lot of hate and Hold a grudge to Japan because of what they did to him in World War II. Okay, I'm assuming Russia is coming up. I know they really took a hard hit. Okay, here we go.
so let me run that back just a little bit. So 27 million people died. 27 million people. I can't even imagine that number died because of Germany. Now, I know a lot of that is because they fought a brutal war and a brutal war on the war front with the Germans. Um, a lot of them died in the siege of Leningrad and almost half or a third of the country was occupied by the Germans and they basically just destroyed everything and everybody they could during that time frame. So there again, just like the Chinese and the Ch Japan, I think the Soviets hold a grudge to Germany because of what they did. And obviously with a loss that severe, I think you can't help but have multi-generational multi -generational impacts on your society and on your country and on your culture. So there again, you know, it's important that we educate ourselves about who we elect, who we put in power, who we're influenced by, so we can prevent something like this from happening again in the future. Um, I know we're, if we're a lot more aware of things because of social media and what's out there, but still, it's very easy to believe what you're seeing online and in the media. It's important to educate yourself, find out the truth for yourself, because um, that's the only way we're going to prevent something like this from happening again. Will we see another war? Who knows? There's a possibility we may, but you know what the impacts are, you don't know. Okay, what's up next? Let's see another pile. Okay, so this is a recount. Look at that, y'all. 85 million people. Mm. Don't let anybody tell you that World War II was not a significant part of history. That number right there tells you that it was. So many people died because of either fighting or at the hands of battle. I know a lot of us have family members who fought in the world. I had a grandpa who pa who didn't pass away, luckily, but he did fight and defend for that for the United States, along with his brothers, and came back. But so many didn't. And I know there's a lot of countries in Europe that didn't. And unfortunately, I know on the other side, Japan and Germany and Italy and some of these other countries had relatives and family members that passed away too. So no matter what side your your history or your genealogy is from, this is just the result of war. This is just it's senseless. It's It was a waste. Um... Just wanted to throw that in there. Um, I know we're kind of at the end of this video. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. This is my first video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. I know it was kind of solemn, kind of, you know, Debbie Downer, but it was something I wanted to share. I wanted to share a little bit of education to folks out there. You know, this video's on online, it's on YouTube. You can watch it, of course, for yourself if you want to see it. You know, will there be another world war? You know, let me know. What do you think? Let me your comments, leave me your thoughts. Let me know what you're thinking. If you like content like this and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like. Um, we just hit 1,000 subscribers, so we are giving away another gift card pretty soon. Stay tuned for that video in the next couple of days. And who knows where we're going here from here. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.